Yo, what's up, Mungus? How are you doing? You <laughs> sworn to carry my burden? <laughs> Ooh, scroll of mass paralysis. You have that, eh? Guess I can't steal it for now, but it's gonna come. <laughs> Yo, what's up, guys? Welcome in, everyone. Welcome in, everyone. Thinking here, I know I'm our behind. friend. Oh. You lead, I'll follow. Okay, there you go. Do you want me to carry? I know he's carrying a lot of our stuff right now. Kind of wondering what we should be doing. I think we should sell some of it, but. We're starting to get low on carry capacity. Like maybe we can store we could try to store it here, but Alright, let's do that. Let's store let's store some stuff. Actually, let's test it. Let's try to store like a scroll. See if it's still ours when we when we pull it back. It is not. Look at that. It's still, it says stealing. Okay, so this scroll is no longer ours. <laughs> we just lost 500 gold. Uh, a bit less than that, but it's okay. Tony, thank you so much for the resub for nine months. Really appreciate. All right, so we cannot store our stuff here. So, um... What do we do then? I think our priority is going to get uh, a house to store our stuff. This is why you get a player home mod. I mean, I think it's part of the fun having to gather enough like money to be able to buy like the small home as quickly as possible. Well, either way, let's go to White Run. Let's go to White Run. We're going to continue where we left off. Uh, I did tweak a few things just now before the stream to get our FPS higher. I did change the. You guys remember that value that I <laughs> that I kept like uh, changing? I got it down to where it should be, and I actually put the upscaler back up, so we're not at 720p native anymore, or higher than that, and we have pretty much better better everything like that you have a mod list yeah we're gonna make the mod list uh, soon soon after um soon after i make a vid about it or when i make a vid about the the the, the mod list but i, I I don't want to release it as is because like there's so many mods where I just modified like everything myself like you know I I use some of the tools to like modify everything like I use a TS5 edit to like edit some ESPs like if, when I get like a texture mod I'll go like inside and like remove like 90% of it and keep like two textures so even if I do give like people the mod list they might get confused because it's not going to be like that. So I want to make a proper vid that comes with it. It's so far so good. We've not dipped below 60. Although dangerously close. Oh, we did dip below 60 just now. Seems better than... Than last stream though. The plans for the build? Well, uh, Jane made, like asked us the last stream like which type of sneak archer I was making. We're making a 
a two-hander sneak archer. Oh shit! Genius level with the 53 gifted subs. Holy shit! The stream just started. And now I'm gonna end it. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> damn, dude. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. God damn. That is a lot. You're making a salad right now? You just picked up some raspberries from the garden. Are you serious, Mungus, or are you just joking? Garden is doing well. Wait, uh, we just, um... I actually ate some strawberries from the garden th this morning. A lot of them. Delicious. Oh, hell yeah, Mungus. I thought you were joking. I thought you were fucking with me because I always talk about the garden. <laughs> uh. All right. Now the plan... We deliver the stone. Although, before we deliver the stone, I'm thinking... First, let's complete that RK Priest quest. Let's give him back his necklace. I found your amulet like three years ago, last stream. Take this gold for your troubles. It's gonna give me like yeah, a oh, fifteen gold. I was about to say it's gonna give me like twenty-five, dude. Fifteen gold. The amulet is worth like so much more. God damn it, fifteen gold, man. That is insulting. Oh shit, I'm seeing the stream lagging. God damn it. I forgot to start OBS as admin. God damn it. Okay, let's let's restart OBS real quick. Actually, I don't think I need to quit Skyrim. I just realized I forgot to start uh, OBS as admin. Fucking OBS, man. That's my fault. All right, one sec. I'm going to restart this. It's going to take like two seconds. Okay, there you go. Should be fixed now. Yeah, we're back. That's my fault. I keep forgetting. You have to start OBS as admin when you play games on PC. Otherwise, the games are going to suck the juice out of OBS. Should be good now. I just saw it on stream. It was like super laggy. What year did I start streaming? Um, I started with Dark Souls 3, like the whole streaming thing. My YouTube channel was older than that. And I even had another YouTube channel prior to that. But streaming, I started with Dark Souls 3. You have OBS to always run as admin. Well, I... I mostly use OBS to stream games from the PlayStation, so I don't need that. Because, like, sometimes... Well, I guess you're right. Maybe I should do it, too, actually. Because whatever I'm doing on the PC, I definitely want OBS to be smooth, so... I should probably do that, too. Alright, let's deliver the stone. And after that, we're going to be fighting the dragon, but... Do we sell some of our stuff first? He's gonna give us an armor and put us overweight, like, no matter what, so... We most definitely need to, uh... To clean our inventory, for sure. One way or another. Have you seen all the issues with the 40 series GPU? What, what kind of issue? 
You mean the power uh, power supply melting for the 4090? Is that what you mean? Seems to be user error though. Nope. Sorry. Nothing. Pretty sure uh, Gamers Nexus tested it. Got some good and it only happened when it wasn't fully plugged in or something like that. Don't forget to check inside the shop if you need anything. Oh, our dagger is not upgraded. I guess we could upgrade our dagger real quick. I don't have a 40 series GPU though. I really want to wait for the the 5000 series, but I feel like I'm going to need to upgrade like before that for Starfield cuz I want my girl to be able to play it and like I'm not going to just like upgrade her PC. It's like it's going to cost like too much if I just decide to upgrade her PC. So what I do usually is I Upgrade my PC and I, I give her the best uh, like the parts game. that I upgrade and it's less expensive that way and I don't need to upgrade for more years so it usually gives her like better stuff because my PC currently is pretty good so like whatever I decide to upgrade I give her the like my part that I'm currently using so I'm definitely going to need to upgrade um, my PC for like Starfield, but I don't want to buy the 40 series, so yeah. Careful with the SSD lifetime? What do you mean by that? That's what you do with your brother? Yeah, it's actually, it sounds, it's like, it sounds more expensive, but if you consider that you don't have to upgrade for longer, it's actually less expensive. Okay, uh, now that we did that, let's go sell some of our junk to the normal merchant. Have not upgraded anything in six years? Well, I would not really upgrade right now either. Because my PC is still fine for everything I'm doing. It's my girl's PC that will need an upgrade for Starfield no matter how I look at it. So that's going to force me to upgrade pretty much in advance. Um, I think we're going to keep the Potion of Paralysis. Man, there's like nothing that I really want to sell. It's kind of an issue. Do come back. I guess you're going to start carrying all my stuff. Carry? Okay, we're just straight up going to give him everything. Like everything that's like, that we don't like directly need right now. Like that. You lead, I'll follow. Games like Elden Ring are affected by SSD speed. Helgen. Destroyed by a dragon. I remember seeing like a Linux vid where they compared like different types of SSDs and there was like barely any difference. So um, I don't know about that. Oops. I'm trying to read chat at the same time. Oh, I'm here. oh it wears out. Okay. Yeah, I know the... I know the... Um, Oh, my girl's SSD. No, my, my girl's SSD is fairly new, so that that's fine. But the... Uh... Yeah, I know what you mean, but I know, like, the newer SSDs have, like, more layers or something like that. And, like, the more layers that there are, like, the faster it wears out. 
and they usually add more layers to give it like uh, more space. Good. I'm glad you're making. So like, if you buy like the bottom line is like a one terabyte uh, NVMe SSD is gonna last longer than a four terabyte one. Weirdly enough. I'm now able to devote most of my time to this research. Time is running, Farngar. Don't forget. This isn't some theoretical question. Dragons have come back. Yes, yes, don't worry. Although the chance to see a living dragon up close would be tremendously valuable. We now, let me show you something else I found. Very intriguing. I think your employers may be interested as well. Hmm? It doesn't ah, fail, yes, it just gets slow. Protégé. Interesting. Back from Bleak Falls Barrow. <laughs> you didn't die, it seems. Ah, the dragon stone of Bleak Falls Barrow. Seems you are a cut above the usual brutes the Jarl sends my way. That is where your job ends and mine begins. The work of the mind. Sadly, <laughs> yeah, I'm thinking the next SSD I'm gonna buy, I'm probably gonna buy like a one terabyte SSD because I always buy like four terabyte ones nowadays. And it might be a mistake. I think next time, next time I'm gonna buy one, it's gonna be a one terabyte one for it to last longer. And put my operating system on it. Nice work. Just send me a copy. Farangar. Farangar, you need to come at once. A dragon has been sighted nearby. I wonder if the old SATA SSDs last longer. Where was it seen? What was it doing? I'd take this a bit more seriously if I were you. If a dragon decides to attack Whiterun, I don't know if we can stop it. Let's go. Dude, these Skyforge arrows, they do a lot. So, Kirillath tells me you came from the Western Watchtower? Yes, my lord. Tell him what you told me about the dragon. No, oh, that's right. I saw it coming from the south. It was fast. Faster than anything I've ever seen. What did it do? Is it attacking the Watchtower? No, my lord. It was just circling overhead when I left. I never ran so fast in my life. I thought it would have come after me for sure. Good work, son. We'll take it from here. Do you know if, like, uh, for some food and rest? Actually, I, I, I don't know if you would, you would know that, but I wonder if there's like some SSDs that last like much longer. Probably, right? Like they're there's no time to stand on ceremony, my friend. They can like survive more cycles. I want you to go with Irileth and help her fight this dragon. You survived Helgen, so you have more experience with dragons than anyone else here. But I haven't forgotten the service you did for me in retrieving the dragon stone for Faringar. Oh, he's gonna give us something. As a token of my esteem, I have instructed Avenici that you are now permitted to purchase property in the city. And please, accept this gift from my personal armory. I should come along. I would very much like... A shield of shock. No. Can't afford to risk both of you. I wow, you it's actually a pretty good shield. We won't use it though, so we're gonna disenchant it. Or actually, we could sell it. I think it's worth selling. This isn't a death or glory mission. I need to know what we're dealing with. Don't worry, my lord. I'm the very soul of caution. All right, we're gonna get ready to fight the dragon. This is going to be our, our first real test. Uh, where's our buddy? There he is. I'm right behind you. What do you want me to carry? Um, I grab you that. Let's disen disenchant it. And then we're gonna sell the shield. I envy you the chance to and perhaps sell. Some potions as well. We can make a lot of potions. Come to Dragon's Reach to discuss the ongoing hostilities, like the rest of the great warriors. It seems this damnable conflict has claimed everyone's passions of late. Me, I prefer my books and my spells. I 
I envy you the chance to see this dragon up close. There's a tranquility in magic, don't you think? It is simply energy to be harnessed by those who... Here we want to... to... We want to yeah. make a few potions because we want to buy a property as soon as possible, really. Well, that's going to be strong. So we're trying to make like very good like potions that have like multiple effects like that. That's a very, very good one. What if we do this? Those are good potions. Roll fat, maybe. Okay, that's going to be it for now. Or actually. We have a lot of purple flowers. So if we, if we could find a use for it, that would be great. Mm, I don't think so. All right. We're, gonna, we're just going to go with this for now. Can I sell you anything? Dragon. Take a look. You can only sell in my necklace, you know, which is not worth it. You should join the Mages College in We're almost ready to take on that dragon. We're just gonna sell some stuff first. The gods and dragons reach say you've aided the yard. Is there an announcement for the Elder Scrolls 6? Oh, forget about that. That's not gonna come in, like, forever. Not happening, man. Sadly, not yet. Should get excited for Starfield first. Oh, thank you. Divines bless your kind heart. What might you be looking at? about everybody in here give a holler if you have any questions all right let's try to sell her uh you look right so you're interested she probably in has yeah there you go she has a restock inventory that should be good we have a bunch of potions to sell i think we might be able to get enough gold from her just with what we got if we just make more potions and and sell it back to her because we have we have some potions we have a lot of potions actually Um, she's pretty much out of everything. Come back anytime if you need a remedy. That's a good potion. Cures for all ills, and I'll be happy to Paralysis. That's an important one. Maybe even add some poison to that. Um, with like skiver tail. No, it doesn't have that effect. It's okay. You'll find tonics, salves, poultices, and potions on my shelves. Browse to your heart's content. Oh, poison of slow. That's valuable. If there's anything I can help you with, 
You have but to ask. Um, I'm tempted to actually use that point of poison of slow on some targets. Not sure on what exactly I want to use it, but it could be a decent idea. Okay, for now we're gonna leave it at that. Elder Scrolls 6 should come out around next gen console releases. Oh, that's that's optimistic. And they're still like in pre-production right now. Take a good look around. I'm sure you'll find what you're looking for. It takes them about like eight eight years to make a game like that. So you can expect the Elder Scrolls 6 to come out in like eight years. That's that's a long stretch away, man. That's not that's not soon. I'll tell you that much. Okay, um For now, I think we're going to leave it here. And then sell the shield to the the blacksmith and then we go fight the dragon. Some good, the finest weapons and armor. All right, let's sell her the shield. Little 200 gold, not too bad. Don't we need, the we shop. need about like 1,500. For her to buy the house, because that's our goal right now. Our goal is going to be to buy the small house so that we can have a place to store all our extra stuff. That's going to be our primary goal. Oh, some Khajiit. Sure, I forgot about them. We could also sell stuff to the Khajiit. The road makes... Take a look. I'm thinking of like selling the dragon bones as soon as we... As soon as we kill that dragon. But for now, let's focus on the dragon because it's going to be a hard fight. I think Starfield took most of their time away from the old school 6. Well, I mean, of course, like they're not going to work on two major projects like that at the same time. Obviously, uh, Starfield is taking resources away. There's no doubt about that. I know it looks bad, but we've got to figure out what happened. And if that dragon is still skulking around somewhere... Shut out. Look for survivors. We need to know right. what we're dealing for the, for the fight against the dragon, I don't think we're going to keep things too complicated. Keep in mind, for those who have not watched the first part of the playthrough, we are doing a permadeath run on legendary difficulty. We don't have, like, other damage modifiers. Which means that we can die very easily and we have to be extremely careful about what we're doing. I just don't want to hit the uh, the NPCs, but we're gonna keep it simple for now. Careful not to fall off here. <laughs> Do 
know why Rin plunge attack that scene. I know, right? This dragon is tanky. Look at his health. We're like doing nothing. <laughs> I think we can use different arrow types to do more damage. We have the ancient Nord arrow and we have the steel arrows. Let's use our best arrows on it. Wow, he was actually aiming at us, the bastard. Let's use ancient arrows. They're the next best thing we got. There's a significant damage difference. With the steel arrows, we were doing 13 damage. And with the ancient arrows, we're doing like eight. And weirdly enough, the ancient arrows are supposed to deal only one less damage. Maybe the numbers were skewed by the dragon getting hit by something else. Lock on is not perfect. If the dragon is moving, there's a chance it might shoot it in like some random direction. It's probably better to just manually aim. Okay, it should come down here soon enough. You have any archery mod installed? No, we have nothing that changes the gameplay. We keep it uh we keep it simple to have like sort of like something like the vanilla experience but with a lot of visual mods to make the experience uh, more fun the only gameplay difference i have is uh, a mod that had actual hitbox to weapons like the precision mod and a mod that unpauses the menu like that so that you can't like cheese the game by just you know, getting into your menu like mid-fight and then just drinking potions. I think my teammate is dead. Oh, is he dead? Oh, he didn't die, I think. He did not die, but that was close. You guys saw his HP, like... I think he's still alive, but like barely. Everybody, get back. Yeah, he's still alive. <laughs> Mongus, your fishing hat is still good. Alright, first dragon fight is always kinda boring because you have to cheese it if you don't want to die. At least on Legendary. Uh, where are the shouts? There he is. The doom. She summons the doom. Oh my god, this dragon. Your dragonborn. In the very oldest tales, back from when there were still dragons in Skyrim, the dragonborn would slay dragons and steal their power. <laughs> That's what you did, isn't it? 
absorb the dragon's power. Yes, I think I am. You can shout now. That can only mean one thing. That's how long did it take me to mod this? Uh, depends on how you look at it. Because I've been modding for a long time, but. There weren't any dragons then, idiot. Like this particular game, I don't know how long it took me to mod it. I definitely have mitigated like all the major crashes. So far we have not crashed once. So to me like that's a big important aspect of like the modding your game. I always try to keep the mods to a minimum. And even then you still always end up with massive mod list. I also try to make it so you're always up over like 60 FPS. That's another one um, I find important. We could actually cap the FPS at 60 to make it like smoother. Okay, we're gonna sell the dragon bone to the Khajiit. Right now, we still need like 1,500 gold. To, to buy the house because we're always overweight now we're at this point in the game where we have like a lot of material at our fingertips and it would be nice to and that's not that much and we still need still need a bit You know what? I might actually sell some, some of that. We just need a little more. May your road lead you to warm sands. All right. Now that we have defeated the dragon, uh, the next step. Is going. Oh, I forgot that. Yeah, the game is also survival. I should put that in the title. The next step now is let's get the gold we need. So we might craft a bit of potions if needed. We might sleep in a bed just to make the time pass to restock inventories if necessary. But right now, the, the next thing we need to do is definitely buying a home. You there. We're looking for someone in White Run. Not interested, money, right? sorry. That reminds me of like the people that call you like at dinner time for surveys and shit. <laughs> like no thanks. Um I know there's a lot of flowers around here. You did it! You killed the dragon. There's been talk amongst the gods. But you are dragon. It's the barracks. Surely that's not possible. Disrespect the law and you disrespect me. Alright, let's go see. I forgot which re which reward the the Yara gives you for killing the dragon. Think he gives you an armor? No. I, we already got the armor. I don't remember, but we'll see. Remember the free, the free house glitch? Yeah, we're not trying. Skyrim is, is boring the moment you abuse some of the glitches. I try to patch as many as I can. Like when, when you abuse glitches in Skyrim, the game just breaks You're like way here. too much. The has been waiting for you. So what happened at the Watchtower? It's the Axe of White Run. Yeah, there? I think you're right. There's no question about that. It was a mighty deed. You've earned a place of honor among the heroes of White Run. But there must more than be Dark more Souls, yeah, more than Dark Souls. You can you can Something become immortal in in Skyrim with glitches. Happened when the dragon died. Um. So it's true. The Greybeards really were summoning. Here's the hidden chest in Dawnstar. <laughs> yeah, I remember that one. Masters of the Way of the Voice. They live in seclusion, high on the slopes of the throat of the world. 
Yeah, Elder Scrolls games have some nasty glitches. Like the restoration loop glitch in Skyrim is probably like some of the most game-breaking stuff I've ever seen. You can literally become immortal with that. Like actually immortal. You can jump off the highest mount mountain and even gravity won't be able to kill you. Didn't you hear the thundering sound as you returned to Whiterun? That was the voice of the Greybeards, summoning you to High Rothgar. This hasn't happened in centuries, at least. Not since Tybiseptim himself was summoned when he was still Talos of Atmora. Look at that, we got some nice clothing variations too. Like, this clothing is normally not in the game. I think it's fun to have, like, clothing variation and armor variation. I always try to keep it lore friendly though. No nonsense. Why, you puffed up ignorant. These are our sacred traditions that go back to the founding of the First Empire. Prongar, don't be so hard on Avenici. I meant no disrespect, of course. It's just that, what do these Greybeards want with her? Yeah, become Interroll is actually our existence. next priority. Because that spell is just... I think it's the best spell in the dragon, game, bar none. Like, not even comparable. It allows you to survive so many situations. It's pretty much like a dodge button, really. Because it gives you, it's the only thing that can give you iframes. So it's important to get. There is no refusing the summons of the Greybeards. Abusing glitches in game is like getting carried through souls with OP Phantom. It depends what. Like some some glitches are good for games, like they they raise the skill the skill ceiling, but I don't know about any of that in, in Skyrim. It's a very peaceful place, very disconnected from the troubles of this world. I wonder like for instance, um, what's going on down here. you could say that, that Tuggling is a glitch in Dark Souls 1, but no. imagine Dark Souls 1 without no. Tuggling, right? Like Tuggling Learn raises the, the skill ceiling and actually balances the game out. Done a great service for me and my city. That's a good example of like a positive glitch. I name you Thane of White Run. It's the greatest honor that's within my power. But like obviously if you compare that I to like bow glitch that just the destroys the game or like chainsaw glitch, that's like yeah. my armory to serve as your badge of office. I'll also notify my guards of your new title. Wouldn't want them to think you're part of the common rabble, now would we? We are honored to have you as Thane of our city, Dragonborn. Alright, alright. Back to business, Proventus. We still have a city to defend. Yes, my lord. Okay, how... what's the worth of that axe? Please keep your weapons sheathed in the 386, I think we're gonna sell it. Okay, so... Oh, Lydia now. The Jarl has appointed me to be your house, Carl. It's an honor to serve you. As my Thane, I'm sworn to your service. For now, we're gonna now keep, uh, and all you own. our little elf my friend. Mm-hmm. How do you feel about dodge mods? I think they break the game. They're not a fit for Skyrim. Skyrim is not a game that's meant to have dodging. Or iframes, I mean. I, I've, I've, you know, I've, I've been playing Skyrim for years. I've tried all the different mods you can think of. Like, I tried, like, uh, all the TK dodge and, and all of that. It's... It feels fun when you try, like, a new mod like that for the first time because it feels new and fresh. But ultimately, and when you start playing with them, a lot of time it just it comes down to like how was the game intended to be played, and does that mod make the game easier? A lot of time it's yes, a lot easier. I've been thinking of selling the into Isolda. Anyway, what do you need? Sure thing, it's yours for a day. Yes. I understand. I'll show you to your room, right this way. No, I said I know where it is. <laughs> where is she? The hell? She disappeared. Okay. Alright, let's, let's sleep now. Um, like 10 hours. This was your first waifu in this game? I think like with many others. Like, uh, one big thing about Skyrim on the Nexus is, like, every combat mod 
is an attempt at making Skyrim like um, like they're all like attempting to make Skyrim have Souls-like combat because we all understand and we all know that Souls combat is way better than like Skyrim combat. Problem with that? What is the Jarl doing here? What the hell? What is it? Problem with that is Skyrim fundamentally is not meant to have this sort of combat system. So you can try as hard as you want to make Skyrim play like Souls, but it's never going to feel like that. And when you kind of attempt to do that, it makes the game a lot easier. Like giving giving yourself iframes is just one big one. Okay. Um. Okay. Let's keep on making potions, I guess. What else can we make? Oh, uh, you know what we could do, though? We have some iron ingots. We could craft some jewelries. We just need to go and take out that other bandit camp. I think that's what we're going to do. Yeah, okay, let's do that. Where's our teammate? Oh, there he is. Look at his hat. In all its glory. Alright, let's go do that. Our next step here is going to be... Uh, whoops. The okay, next step is going to be, like... The bandit camp that's, like, here. And we're gonna get the the spell called transmute or something like that yeah transmute mineral ore yeah we're gonna use that to get uh to get a bit richer we have to be careful though because these bandit camps uh they're very they're very dangerous our early game so we're gonna have to watch our back in there Especially against the bandit chief and the mage. So we don't want to take this lightly. But we, we eventually are going to have to move and start taking out bandit camps. So might as well start now. It's the fishing buddy. You love him? Yeah, I know, right? I feel like the fishing hat just gives him so much more character. <laughs> Yeah, we do have paralysis poisons indeed. We're gonna use them. We we made a few I I told myself I would keep the paralysis poison and not use them. But I feel like paralysis poisons are just extremely valuable in this game. Like they're extremely strong. And so when we find like stuff to make paralysis poison, we keep it. And then we use it on stronger foes. Oh. I think they're fighting. Oh boy. Is that are those Talmors? I don't like this. Okay, well. Yeah, Talmor. Jesus, why are the Talmor after us? Oh, this is bad, man. Talmors are like super strong. Why are the Talmors after us?
Let's focus on this one who's low. That's one down. Oh, ho, ho, no thanks. <laughs> I don't want that magic, bro. But we, won't, we won't have a choice. Stop it. Okay, that's a valuable one down. Nice. Holy shit, why did we get attacked by Talmors though? Execution order. God damn man. They don't they don't fuck around. Oh that robe is valuable. Did I wonder though this that armor is going to be like a lot better than what we got, I think. Uh should be another one. Not playing on survival too. Yeah, we are playing on survival mode. I should write it in the title. There's another one here somewhere. Where where's the other corpse? That's the thing with grass mods, man. <laughs> oh, we got close to a bandit camp in the meantime. We kind of want... Oh, yeah, we killed the other one this way. I remember. There he is. Damn. Well, that armor is actually going to fetch us a lot. I'm tempted to go back now and sell this stuff. Before we raid that bandit camp. Would you look at that? Disrupted our activities. I didn't do anything yet. Dude, talk about like a randomized event. Like that was like one of the most dangerous one. Yeah, we're playing on legendary and survival mode. All right, let's go back. We're going to sell some of the stuff we got. Also, I mean, we did we did get some really good gear. Actually, it's not that good compared to what we got. It's actually worse in every way and we can't upgrade it. It's like only the helmet and it's damn ugly on our character. So we're actually going to keep it like this. We're just going to sell it. Are you going to be a werewolf or a vampire? I'm thinking neither. But who knows, I might change my mind. I personally, like the Dawnguard quest is my favorite quest in the game. So I don't know. Uh, maybe the Khajiita is still there? Yeah, they are. Crossfall 2 are similar? No, we have the survival survival mod from the Creation Club. And I actually prefer the Creation Club Survival Mod, which has been made by the same author as Frostfall anyway. It's just more streamlined. The road makes this one weary. Take a look. Sell you this. Sell you the Talmor stuff. And we're gonna keep the armor and sell it to the blacksmith just to manage like the gold stack for each because if we craft some potions and then we empty all the vendors in the city we're just going to sell it to the Khajiit here
This war's as stupid as our feud with Clan Grey Main. I think it's uh I think we did a good job though so far with the starting. Like we did get hit by some spells and it didn't do too much damage. And for those wondering, it's because we got the Lord Stone just uh very early to give us an extra 25% resist to magic. Then we started with the Breton starting class, which has a 25% magic resist, and we got lucky enough to get a necklace of resist magica, so another 10%. So what is it? 60%? I think we have 60% resist magic right now, which is extremely important at early earlier levels like this. I ain't done nothing. I ain't Let's go sell that stuff. Welcome to War Maidens. Now you, my girl, have definitely come to the right place. The you, my girl. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, the Axe of White Run, we sell that. Uh, Elven stuff. Man, we just need a little more. Let's see what he sells. Sometimes... Some pieces of gear are worth getting, but it's it's rare. Good doing business with you. Okay, we're close enough to our goal here of having five thousand gold. I think we can. We we need like three hundred gold here. We can definitely do that with alchemy. So let's just gather the rest of the plants that are in the city and then make potions out of that and we should be good to go. Should be fairly quick too. Storm cloaks, Imperials, dragons. It's crazy how much of a gold mine White Run is if you do a bit of alchemy. It's not easy being a woman in Skyrim, I know. It's not easy being Barneasy. <laughs> Here there should be, there you go. The nightshade ones. I'm not sure what valuable potion we can do from nightshade, I don't remember. It's like the nightshade, you can create some good poisons with it. But poisons don't really sell for much. They're useful for gameplay, but not so much to make money. Blue mountain flowers are usually the one that can net you like good good amount of gold fairly easily. Okay, I think we should be good for now. Let's start with that. I like the models for the, the flowers. You don't notice how much of a difference it is, but the default flowers that are in the base game are literally just 2D flat images. And so it makes a huge difference when you have like 3D models for flowers. All right, here you go. This is our moment of glory. I offer remedies for ailments Do let me know if I can be of service. Hundred and eight. Hundred sixteen. Sixty seven. I think to see like what we got right now that that give us like the best return, you know. And I'll be happy to serve you. Okay, we leveled up with that. Leveling up is usually actually a bad thing uh, in this because 
like the game scales with you so the lower lower level you are the easier it's going to be to deal with stuff like around you um i offer remedies for ailments both common and rare do let me know if i can be of service Okay, well, I know we can create poisons with this, but I don't know. Do we want to create some poisons? I mean, it is useful. It does more damage. Let's create a bunch of poisons. You look ah, so you're an alchemist then. Okay, she has nothing. Her inventory is not restocked, so come back anytime if you need a rent. We can't really sell her anything. Pardon me, but do I detect a case of the rattles? I've got something for that. All right, I Let think you know. we might have enough with these potions to be able to buy the house. Everything, trinkets, odds If and not, ends. it's going to that be very sort of close. Thing. Actually, we might not. Oh yeah, we will. Never mind. There you go. We have enough now. Okay. Well, let's go. Do come back. Let's. G <laughs> we finally got it. Let's go buy that house at last. Shimrock Gaming, thanks for uh, thanks for the raid, and Brenna, thanks for the raid. Welcome in, guys. So we're continuing the Skyrim playthrough. We're playing on Legendary Survival Mode, uh, permadeath run. So, which means if we die, it's over. We have to start again. Therefore, there is some tension in combat. We cannot we cannot play stupid. So that forces us to be more careful with how we approach fights and how we engage. I like it. I've played enough Skyrim to be able to afford to play like that. Like uh, I just think it makes it more interesting. Alright, let's go buy that house so we can dump all of our junk in one spot I serve Jarl Balgrub as steward Oh there's also a homestead outside of the city that I think that's a creation club mod for more gold but this house has like more things although I think we're just going to keep Splendid. it simple for there's now a house available right now Wonderful Here's the key to your new home. Enjoy your visit to Dragon's Reach. All right. Also, we might as well get some work from him if he happens to give like the order to clear a bandit camp that we would clear anyway. We're just going to get a reward out of it. The Arl has put out a bounty on some bandits. Here, take a look at this decree for details. Kill the bandit, Redoran's retreat. Where is that? Redoran's retreat. I think that's far, isn't it? Redoran, yeah, Redoran's retreat. Well, yeah. Just let me know. You should have told me first. Damn it, woman. I'm the Jarl of White Run. I won't apologize for talking. I think Lady is going to go to my home. We're going to decorate our home. Like slowly but surely, but for now we just want a safe a safe place to dump all our extra gear that we want to keep that we don't want to sell yet, like all of our material, like leather, that sort of stuff. Also um, one thing that I should do is like, when we have poison, it's definitely worth putting poison on literally all our weapons. Like, it's just a good habit. So that when you switch to a weapon, it's already poisoned. Alright, well. This house is ugly for now, but it's not going to stay that way. We're going to pimp it, pimp it a little bit. As we go along. So, 
we already have some storage here and here so we ha we have a few places where we can dump our extra stuff i think here we're gonna we're gonna store like our materials still here what do you want me to carry wow you have some bows we're gonna s we're gonna sell that actually i also i don't know if i want him to use the two hander or i wanted to use the one hander because i feel like he won't use his bow as much with the two hander well oh well it'll let him have it for now you're gonna grab that um Grab this. You lead, I'll follow. Thanks for being our pack mule. Yeah, Kim, thank you so much for the 10 gifted subs. Holy smokes, thank you so much, Yakim. Well, welcome back, man. So we're just doing another Skyrim run. I don't know if you've been here for a while. Not another Skyrim run, I mean, uh, we're continuing our Skyrim playthrough. Do we put our armor here as well? Um, like for our armor, I'm not I sure. Sword and your shield. I really like the way our character looks right now. But I also really like the barbarian armor, although it does not really fit. All that well everything else we got we're gonna keep the steel armor I think this one's also really cool I really like that armor but I think the steel one's the best looking so we're gonna stay with the steel armor for now I think I'm gonna dump the extra armor is here there you go and for the weapons I think we're gonna sell the extra and maybe dump our extra ingredients here. Do we keep it? I feel like it, when we keep it, it allows us to craft stuff as we go along. So I think we're going to keep it. Although we're still pretty heavy. I think what's making us so heavy is actually our armor that weighs 35. That's a big difference, you know? All this stuff definitely makes a difference because otherwise it's i mean we could probably we could probably cut down on those purple mountain flowers Something like that. Alright. Let's rest and we're going to continue our journey. What time is it? 2 p.m. in game. 2 p.m. in game and then once we sleep we're going to get another perk. What do we upgrade? That's a good one. We have the good uh, perk for restoration already. We definitely want to have smithing 20. Uh, 30. Right, it's not going to give us much here, but... What about... We could put a point in heavy armor. And, and in light armor. So that every time we get new armors, it makes a difference. Yeah, I think our next perk is going to go into heavy armor, I think. I think that makes the most sense for now. 
Okay. Let's just sleep like 300 hours. Like a normal person would. Okay, let's do this. Should give us more physical defense, which is always a good idea. Now we're really hungry. Potato soup, well fed, there you go. All right, let's keep the journey going. Long life to you. Okay, quest wise, we have a few quests, but the next priority is going to be to actually have access to the shouts and therefore we're going to go see the Greybeards. And so we're going to follow the main quest right now. That's going to be our next objective. Because we want the become Eterol shout. I've been looking for you. Got something I'm a lot of mail. Your hands only. Let's see here. Looks like that's it. Got to go. Warrior challenge. Okay. Oh, also, I forgot to drop my my decorating guide for White Run. Let's drop. Let's drop that here somewhere. Oops. What do you need, my thing? If couriers will find you anywhere, it's actually scary. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder if it's at level 10 that you start getting attacked by vampires at night. I hope not. It could be so bad. Okay, uh, is there a way to get there quicker? I don't think so. It might be quicker from Riften, but it's actually going to be a lot more threatening because there's a bunch of spiders there. And spiders, we don't have a lot of poison resistance, so spiders are actually extremely dangerous. So we're just going to use the standard route by foot to get to... Uh, the gray beards. So we're just gonna travel the good old, good old old fashioned way for now. It's 5 a.m. in game, so the sun should should rise here fairly soon. Um, it's best to do the down guard stuff as soon as possible, so that doesn't happen. Left hand healing spell, right hand sword. Also, an assassin says he missed me. Oh, dude. I miss assassin too, man. I love assassin. Oh. Uh, you know what? Oh, we had some poison on our sword that I forgot about. Which, um. We should actually we should apply poison every time like that. Makes these fights a lot easier to manage. Okay, there are some bandits up top here. I won't 
go into the cave, but let's kill the bandits themselves. Also, is our buddy coming here? I feel like our... Our friend here is, um... Lagging behind. Well... We lost our little health friend. Some stuff going on over there. Oh, is that a spring in? Uh, I don't like that. Its spring ins are kind of nasty. Uh, I'm. I don't want it. Let's fight those bandits up top instead. Get inside the cave and then get out. See if our teammate spawns. We're also going to get uh, warmer. I think there's a fire nearby. Okay, good one. Wolfie doing it, it's jump. Even though he's doing one damage, he's taking the aggro off of them. I say that, but they're, because of the hitbox mod, they're still hitting us. Okay. Oh, we can craft two vegetable no one vegetable soup it's good though crafting vegetable soups is just very valuable you like the skyrim streams me too dude i actually love skyrim streams there's just it's so chill like i feel like i miss playing skyrim so much like skyrim is such a chill game i should actually eat the apples within the barrel like an absolute degenerate. Okay, so we're just going in and out. There you go, just to make our teammates spawn here. Because uh, I don't know how, but we lost them along the way. There you go. Alright. Hopefully that spring-in is not there anymore. Kind of scared to engage that thing, if I'm being completely honest. Like, spring and look like nothing, but then they one-shot you, you know? There you go. Just a whole piece of cheese down my throat, just like that. Okay, there's a, an NPC there. What are you doing? What are you? What do you need? Aren't you from Whiterun? Very adventurous of you. Alright, hopefully the spring-in is not there anymore. It is still here. Okay, well. Ah! Conjur conjuration. I have Conjure Atronaut. We just don't have enough magicka to conjure it. If I actually kept the HUD from the start of the game, we could actually conjure one. Hmm. Do we engage it? Let's not get greedy. It detected us, but it's not... It's not aggroing. And we're just gonna leave it be. Oh, that wolf was the the wolf that fought the spring in. 
was already pretty much dead. Oh, and there's also that that priest up there. We can kill that priest. I think it's within our. Uh, it's within our our uh, capabilities. I don't think I'll summon though, because I think he can actually turn my wolf against me. Or she. Let's uh. Let's veg vegetable soup his ass. My money's all never should have come here. Yeah, let's be careful here. Help teammate. That's such a bad spot to fight. No, you don't heal. That's enough. There you go. Alright. Didn't go too badly. Not as smoothly as I would want to, but... she had anything well she had some ingredients but the rest is not valuable oh forgot about that okay conjure undying ghost consumes all magicka and summons an undying ghost for 60 seconds the ghost attributes are equal to twice the amount of the magicka consumed Interesting. I wonder if you can cast that with like no magicka. Oh, but yeah, it won't have any stats. That's what it means. Okay. Interesting though. Um, let's go this way. We killed a wolf. Let's kill the wolf. It's good to kill the wolf just for uh, for the letter, really. Oh, I forgot my health already regenerates because of the soup we took. All right, let's go this way. I know this uh, this pathway is fairly quiet. Like this, this is a, uh, this is somewhat of a safe bat. We can take it. I don't think I've ever had anything spawn on me this way. Although this is Skyrim, so <laughs> you never know. The familiar seems tanky and draws aggro. Yeah, that's kind of like the whole point. Like that thing... Like, the little wolf does, like, one damage, which is pretty insignificant. But it's mostly to get them off of you. 
or split the attention when there's multiple enemies. Like, I think the skeleton dog was, like, fighting our follower, and then the wolf was fighting, like, a skeleton, and then we were fighting the mage. We still have to, like, worry about not staying in cold areas for too long, because if you look, our health bar is decreasing. Even when we're, like, slightly going through cold areas look at that like our our health bar is like slowly going down even though we're wearing some fairly you know fairly warm gear like only our our helmet piece is like slightly less warm but it's not like we're wearing like cold gear so i don't want to stay here for too long basically Do we kill the goats actually for the the fur? Could be an idea. Die! Well, we're not even fast enough. <laughs> These little goats are fast, man. Stop it! Oh my god, I cannot believe we missed. There we go. I kind of want the fur. You know, it's always nice to get some leather. Okay, let's finish this. There you go. Where on the map are you? Uh, around here. We're going around the mountain to Iverstead. This is like the fastest path to, uh, to the Greybeards, I think. Oh, there's also the troll here, though. I'm not sure if I actually want to engage with that troll or not. I mean, we're going to have to engage with a frost troll either way, so... And our follower is got left behind again. Hmm. Because we need to constantly burn that troll, too. Otherwise, it's just going to regen. But we're going to need to do that as well. Next one. Would be actually nice to have like a fire infused weapon. Right now. We could paralysis it. Not sure if that would change much. Okay, we're just gonna go the, the good old-fashioned way of, like, we're just gonna vegetable soup and just whack-a-mole him. Hopefully he doesn't do too much damage. Also, we're slower in water. Alright. Hopefully you don't do too much damage to us. Oof. You do a lot. He's already back to full. Okay, our teammate is, is here, though. He's already back to full, the fucking bastard. We do, like, nothing to this thing. Jesus, this thing does a lot. And we're not making progress here. <laughs> this thing is out healing all the damage we're doing. We're gonna need the follower in there. Let's uh, let's bring it in. Also, that was with. He does a good chunk of damage. Oh, 
god, this thing is tanky. Look at that. <laughs> Jesus, man. Oh my god. Dude, how are we gonna kill that frost roll? It's already back to full HP. We're not making any progress. I feel like I have to burn it. God damn, I don't know what's the plan anymore. We're literally making no progress. I feel like we just have to burn it. We're literally making zero progress. Jesus! Alright. Aboard the project. Smack it with a torch. Alright, that's a that's a good idea. We don't have a torch anymore. Well, let's bring the guards in there. Let's get that troll up. And little shit. We need a fire-infused weapon. That's what we need. So now we know that we can't actually progress further up north because that frost troll up there is going to be too much of a problem. If we cannot kill this troll, we can't kill the frost troll. Now we're going to bring the guards in there. The guards should be able to take care of it. But we know that we actually need a fire weapon now. Nope. Yeah, idiot. Just bring that troll up. The guards are usually good enough. Let's not get the villagers killed. Come on, guards. Nope. This is gonna kill the villagers. Come on, guards, do your job. Now I have to be careful to not hit anyone. This thing is so tanky. I don't want to hit the guard. Okay, we're making progress right now. At least. Oh no. There's a bear now. <laughs> this is a mess. Let's kill the troll because the troll can regen. The, the bear cannot. Guard might actually be able to kill the bear. Maybe not. I don't want to go with the big sword because I don't want to hit the, the other guard. It's definitely something I don't want to do. Like, that would be the worst, like, right now, like, hitting someone. Jesus, these things are so tanky. My arrow is doing so little damage that the only thing I'm doing is like preventing the troll from regening too much. There you go, okay. Now the bear. bear too much. I really don't want to fuck things up and hit someone. Let's just uh, hit him in the anus. Should be a safe place. <laughs> There's like nowhere that I can actually hit this thing without risking hitting something else. Imagine if we had to 
could fight a bear like that by ourselves. Like, look at how tanky this thing is. There's like four, five. There were six swinging at this thing, and it's just not dying. This is crazy. <laughs> this is nuts. Oh my god, dude. Dude, it's, it's like we're like an army on these things. Consider joining up myself. These animals are not to be fucked with. Okay, well, we did it. <laughs> it only took fucking everyone. We already grabbed everything here, but let's go back to where the troll was. There should be... Um, there should be a book in there. To level up our two-hander. Usually, it's optimal to just wait as long as you can before using those books, but I think in our case, we're just going to use them like straight away. Every time we get a book, we just read it. And that was a, a hard fight. The bear and the troll, everyone together. Like, jeez. There you go, that's the book. Oh, that's a... That's a strong helmet. Oh, and there's even some valuable ore. What else is there? Another Stormcloak uh, soldier. Nothing on this one. Oh. Just have to walk the cross roll to Everstead. I know, right? Okay, we're overweight. All right. Well, Still my here. dear pack mule. What do you want me to carry? Oh, we have a troll skull. We definitely don't need that. What else do we have that we can give him? Oh, we still have. We're still carrying two hunting bow. <laughs> That's why we're so heavy. I forgot to sell them. Well, that explains a lot. Let's get going then. We definitely don't need that skull. Okay, well, we did make some progress. We made some progress. Um, let's read that book. Get our two-hander up. Oh, heavy armor, actually. I thought it was two-hander. Even better. Wow, this is ugly. This is actually really ugly. I kind of prefer this one. It's just a better look. Okay, so change of plan. We're not going up there anymore. Uh, we're just not strong enough at the moment. These, these wildlife animals are just too powerful. We're going to have to change our plan here and focus on actually grabbing... Um, we're actually going to infuse our weapon with fire before engaging up there. And also, I think another thing that we should do... Oh, actually, you know what? That would be even better. Instead of having a fire weapon, let's get something that gets our magicka up. So that we can summon the Flame Atronach instead. That Flame Atronach should prevent the Frost Troll from regenerating. Need something? Okay, we're tired here. What time is it? 2 p.m. We can sleep the whole day. I guess it doesn't matter. Yes. Oh, we're gonna sleep at that inn. Welcome to the inn. If there's anything How much gold do we even have, though? A hey, 200. If I were you, I'd keep away from the barrow on the east side of town. It's haunted. There ain't much more to tell. We're gonna go in that They're barrel. Haunted, and you should stay away. We're gonna do that quest right now. Because we're looking for gear at the moment. When it glared at me, I swear it burned right through my soul. Fortunately, certainly isn't helping my business any. If you think there's anything you can do, be my guest. 
King? Sure thing. It's yours for a day. Yes? Of course. Yeah, show me where my room is. Right this way. Alright. You even though it's it's still uh during the day, we're gonna sleep just because Let me know our character else you need. is tired right now. And so like we're we're getting some debuffs. So we're just gonna sleep like a lot. Just to get that off. And then we're gonna go in the barrel and clear it. Hopefully get some interesting gear. We're looking for either a weapon that has like fire on it, preferably two-handed fire weapon, or an item that gives more magicka. Um Be careful. Sorry, move. Idiot. There you go. Okay, let's go clear that barrel. Oh, Raider, Raider. You live among the clouds now, dear Raider. I can't see you, Raider. I can't find you. Why are you hiding? I oh, thank you. Divines bless your kind. Here you go. The mountain will eat you. Can we... No, we can't steal it. Definitely not worth it. Okay, we should be good enough to kill that, that guy. The first guy that guards this dungeon is fairly strong. But we do have some good magic resistance at the moment. And so it should not be impossible. Like, we just pop one vegetable soup. And it should be easy enough. Hopefully, actually. I'm not even sure. Maybe we're going to get wrecked. <sighs> Actually, to prevent us from getting wrecked, I think what I'm going to do... We're going to power... We're just straight up going to paralyze him. We're gonna pop one of these before fighting, actually. And potion of minor healing. We have 17 of those. We're actually, instead of uh, favoriting the spell, we're gonna favorite the potion of minor healing. Just so. Just so if we're in trouble, we can spam that. It's this guy right here. This place. Leave this place. Leave. 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 Another book. I forgot which order. Here you go. All right, time to shine. Let's uh, let's get down to business. All right. Oh my god. Come on. Dude, this wolf, dude. This fucking wolf. Alright, well. Here comes nothing. This is the... Uh, one of the fights of all time. Whoever criticizes 
Bowser's Skyrim combat is crazy. Uh oh. What a game. <laughs> oh. oh my god. Thank you for the ELA. Almost there. Pretty skillful fight, I would say. He needs perseverance. He really does. For some reason, I did not favorite the fucking potions. Okay, so that's that. We need to give back the journal to the innkeeper. Oh, there's a there's an alchemy al alchemy table here though. Uh, we can craft this. Oh my god, that is a valuable potion. Resist poison. Okay, there you go. Not too bad. Get some more potions from this. Uh, teammate so many lockpicks for one gold one gold god for a single gold Right, well, we need to go back up, get the claw, and then we can start clearing the, this dungeon. It's your bank account. <laughs> it do be like that. Four lap pigs just for one gold. <laughs> uh. All right, let's get that claw. To the Inn. If there's anything I can get you, 
Just let me know. We don't I found get this. many visitors through here. Let me see that. I can't believe this. It was the average archaeology experience. <laughs> Accurate. I can't believe we were so stupid. Well, least I can do is give you something for taking care of. At least in archaeology, that one piece of gold is worth a lot more. All right. Uh, I heard tell of a lad in Windtown. Oh, Dark Brotherhood. We might actually do the Dark Brotherhood quest, actually. They say he's been doing the Black Sacrament, trying to contact the Dark Brotherhood. Damn fool. Interesting. Here, take a look at this. Some of the Jarl's men came by and left this bounty letter. If you're headed up to the monastery, watch your step. Yeah, I want to get up the monastery, but we're just not prepared right now. Like, nothing that we can do at the moment is, like, good enough to kill that frost roll. So this is a problem. Drinking the Ethero potion in front of him. Yeah, I don't think he reacts. I think I already tried that at some point and nothing happened. Um, what is that? Butterfly, owl, and the wolf. There you go. Still have a teammate. Oh, that's a nice helmet. What does it look like on us? I mean, it's all right, I guess. Problem is, we can't give this guy any helmet. Otherwise, he's not going to wear his fishing hat. We have to carry it ourselves. Are we still under the influence of the Sioux? I don't think we are. Yeah, I don't think we are. Well, 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 um... We already have oak flesh. Not work. Well, oh, never mind. Die! Die! No! You're dead! So much more tanky, just being like another uh, another level above the others, just makes him like tank like so much more. <laughs> Get out of there! At least he doesn't do too much damage with the with the spell. Well. I guess we can grab the book now. What about ancient bow 14? Wait a second. Our hunting bow is actually worse. 
Let's grab that. Because our, uh, our hunting bow is already upgraded. And obviously it does the same. You have contracted severe bone break fever. Fuck me. Wait. It's not written anywhere though. It's not in like any of my debuffs. Well, it's unfortunate. Uh, let's favorite this, unfavorite that. Master Log do be like that. Oh. Oh. Oh my god, there you go. And an expert lock. Watch us get one gold again. Okay, that's worth it. Okay. Okay, this is like the jackpot. Wow. Um, I think this sword is just straight up better than what we have because ours is upgraded to superior. And it does the same damage. gonna give it to teammate here who's probably like stuck in the water here somewhere where is he where is teammate oh there you are what are you doing here still here let's get going then i'm right behind you go on ahead we heading out? Let's get going. Be careful! I'm here. We're gonna give the sword to him anyway. He's bugged out over here. Oh, he just moved slightly. Still here. What do you want me to carry? Okay, you get... Actually, you're gonna get my upgraded bow. You're gonna get this upgraded sword. Gonna carry the armor. I think we're good to go. You lead, I'll follow. Now that we have an orch orcish or orcish sword, we're gonna be able to use that. like this I like this. Oh, that's a few taken care of. I think this is the exit, is it? Oh, no. 
it's, it's definitely a secret passage. There you go. Our teammate is left behind, but they go well. Oh, fuck. <gasps> Where's our bow? Oh yeah, that's the ancient bow now. They're both rest restless draggers. We're gonna kill our dog quickly. that's taken care of still another one up there somewhere though would be nice if one of these had an upgraded bow they don't it's okay it's unfortunate that we just lost our teammate behind Is that the only way? I think it is. Um, I'm kind of tempted to try this one, the Undying Ghost. I want to try it. Fuck off. That's actually that actually scared me. God damn it, that just activates this. Well, that's BG. moment. God damn it. Okay. Uh, we definitely want Oak Flesh to traverse this.
Seems like we're gonna have to complete the rest of this dungeon by ourselves. Just kind of unfortunate. Are we still on the soup? Or not? Okay, not bad. Whoa, this trap, eh? This trap. I don't want it. You might actually might actually use this trap. He actually activated the trap. Dude! Oh my god! That was almost like horrible. Jesus Christ. Good thing we were on. Dude, good thing we were on Oak Flesh. If we were not on Oak Flesh, that run was over. Oh my god, dude. The luck. Oh, we survived that one. Because the doors are closed, like, it forced us trapped here. God damn, that was close. That trap is nasty, man. Kill all the dragon priests. Well, it's not over yet, boys. You bastard. At least that's that. Ooh, what are those? Steel soldier boots. My boots do have 17 and they're fine. These boots have 17 and not upgraded. Hmm. I think we're gonna use that. Look good too. We're keeping it. Okay, so we got... Okay, let's start with first... Uh, whale, bird... Whale, bird, snake, whale. So, whale, bird... Snake, whale. There you go. Let's also get the stuff that's down there first. Also, a chest here is like underwater. Or some gold, I guess. What about here? Nothing.
still doesn't see us. Well, I guess we'll take it. It's fucking traps, man. I hate it. Please no trap. This is clearly a trap, but it's a gold ingot. Oh, we're overweight. <laughs> oh, we're leaving that behind. We're gonna need to drop some stuff. Um, we're dropping. Oh, that's worth like 250 though. Uh, what else can we drop? We're not actually carrying, like. Guess we're dropping the boots. I would give it to our follower, but. He just left us, man. It's like the. This is harder than it should be, <laughs> just because he left us. Okay, should should be here though, since this is a loading screen. There you go, perfect. Come on, buddy, come with me. You, you know, let's make a deal. Still here. Let's get going then. Okay, got it. Go there. Don't like the looks of this. No, nope. no, you go back. What do you need? Go okay, over there. Got it. Why does this skeleton do so much? God. Really? Dude, these skeletons are annoying. So far, not too bad. Those should be, yeah, restless groggers. Only one restless one. It's not too bad. Let's kill the normal dragger first. Another one? Where is it? They don't stop. They keep coming.
Get up. Get up, my friend. He's stuck in water now. Great. Do this to me. You don't want to win like this. Okay, it should be a good spot to fight this guy. you go. Ah, not over. Ah, fuck, it's the big one. Ah! At least our teammate decided to come back, or... Never mind. an AI battle. My teammate is just stuck in water here. <laughs> it's okay, he's being a cannon father. While we're just cheesing him. He's literally just tanking hits for us. Doing his job well. He's legit stuck in water. I'm kind of tempted to, um, once we do the Dawn Guard quest, to do like, uh, or to start using crossbows. Like a fish in water, as they say. Well, this was definitely the most compelling part of the fight. <laughs> okay, we got a frost sword from him. Not too bad. I'm right behind. What do you want me to carry? You grab this. And that's it. On. Well, that certainly was something. Can't say it was an easy fight, but it went downhill at the end. <laughs> Let's loot all the remaining corpses that we can find at least.
I think the best way we could describe this fight was the battle of AI. Okay, actually, you know what? We could get him a bow though, because he doesn't have. He's still here. What do you want me to carry? He doesn't have a good ancient great bow. Let's give him one. Let's get going then. Oh, he's still using the. Uh... Yeah, he's still using the other one. Never mind. We're also getting low on food too. And on vegetable soups, like, I don't think we would be able to, uh... To, like, go into another dungeon, or, like, another tough fight. The traps just never stop. Thirty-two gold, we take it. Iron gauntlet. Um. I guess we can sell that. I've got your back. What do you want me to carry? You lead, I'll follow. Oh wow, spiked iron gauntlets. Interesting. Let's give it to our buddy here. I'm right behind you. What do you want me to carry? There you go. Better gauntlets than what he has. Okay, I think we get a, a useless shout here too. Oh, there's a great sword there, though. You need the sprint shout to get there, but... You can technically... Well, just fall into, into the water and do nothing. We're not going to attempt it too many times, because... It can take quite a while to attempt this, but let, let's at least attempt it once. Well, never mind. As I've done this a few times, like I spent like 30 minutes just <laughs> jumping around here doing the entire parkour just to get to there without the, the shout, but... I think we're just gonna wait until we get it. Can't wait for Starfield? Oh, me too, dude. I cannot wait for Starfield. I'm so excited for it. I was already excited before the their presentation, but their presentation really sold me. It looked really cool. Do I have a mod list? I'm, I'm gonna... I should probably just put the mod list as is, even though I modified most of it. Just so people... get an idea of, like, the, the base mods I'm using. But I want to make a dedicated vid, like, explaining things in more details. Okay, there's a bed here if we need it. Oh. Hidden bag. With tomatoes, that's actually extremely valuable. Okay, well, we... We did a good job here. Uh, no, not this way. We did a good job here, but... It looks like we're not only fatigued, but it, it said earlier that we had like a bone breaker fever, like a severe one, even though it doesn't show it on our effect. I think it's important we go cure that. And so, what time is it in game? 10 p.m. It's actually very late. We're going to go sleep at the inn. And we're going to focus on getting that cured. So we're going to have to get out of the city. Oh, it's so dark. Holy shit. I did not see anything. Get out of here. Scared of vampires. Welcome to the Bellamere Inn. 
What's the red bar on the mana? It's from the survival, uh, the survival mod. May the gods watch over your battles, friend. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. Yes? I understand. Alright. Sleep like eight hours. Does Skyrim have any skill in the combat on modded? Uh, yes it does, but... I mean, the game is is old and flawed, so it's... Like, what I'm doing when I'm choosing enemies is basically the optimal way to play this game most of the time. Okay, what do we upgrade here? Oh, there you go, well... Um... You know what? I don't think any of the two-handed skills are valuable aside from just straight-up damage. So we're gonna hold off on this for now. We got heavy armor up. Let's get light armor up so that we can mix and match pieces if necessary. Okay, so I think we're in a good spot for now. We're hungry. Dude, we're hungry and... We're gonna need to buy food. Pardon me, my lady. Would now that our go drink for the thirsty, food for the hungry. We're gonna need to buy food. We got uh, apple pies, cooked pogfish, chicken breast. I'm looking for like, we're definitely buying the chicken breast, like the least expensive. And the lightest food, like, for carry. But I think, regardless, we're just gonna buy all the food, because we're Pass really again. low. Stop by for a drink. So we're gonna eat the pogfish, because it's the heaviest one. There you go, now we're well fed. Okay, so next step here is going to be to cure what we have going on. Um... Although to cure that thing, man. I think at this point we're closest to Riften. Oof, man. I'm gonna be honest. Traveling from Iverstead to Riften is actually kinda... Kinda dangerous. I'm almost tempted to... It might actually be safer to go back to Whiterun, if, I, if we're being honest. It's probably smarter to go back to Whiterun. And we have our house in White Run. We're gonna go back to White Run, actually. The spiders are way looking. too dangerous. Corey again. To deliver. Your hands only. Let's see here. Looks like that's it. Got to go. Dude, we're getting bombarded with messages. It's almost like. Guest for dinner. You have been cordially invited to dinner and drink at Bloodchill Manor. Okay. Okay, buddy. Bloodchill Manor, eh? Got it. The name is very reassuring. What do we have that's glowing? Oh, it's the claw. Look at that, dude. This game is so cool. Look at that. The claw. It like shows up on our character. Isn't that cool? Some of these mods are simply amazing. It's little details like that that makes you appreciate. Yeah, we're going back to White Run, guys. Um, we, we're gonna need more than this. We're gonna need to work on our character a little before progressing. Because the further we're getting, like the harder it's getting. Like to a point where it's... Wow, I did not even grab that. To a point where it seems to be getting a bit dangerous. Look at this game, dude. Look how beautiful. So nice. We turn off the HUD.
guess we have to make it uh, fade out completely. Look at that. Beautiful game. <laughs> I love this game, man. It's so nice. Alright, let's keep on going. Let's put the HUD back on. Careful here, there's a wisp mother. I don't want to aggro it. I don't want the smoke right now. So we we got 500 gold, which is not that much, but it should be enough to uh to get anything we need. personally appreciate the like you know the this the aspect of having to travel like back to where you came from instead of fast traveling i like like the slower pace of uh of this sort of gameplay it makes you it makes it so that you kind of have to plan your routes and if you don't want to go somewhere like too quickly or like in a hurry or if you don't want to have to go back you just have to think a bit further and think like okay once i get there like what do what will i need like will i need to like go back another way like i don't know it makes it more methodical i feel i don't mind the slower gameplay i know Everyone nowadays like wants everything to or every game to be like really fast. But for a game like this, you know, when you're streaming, maybe it's a bit different, but once you're playing like by yourself, you know, it's a single player game, you play at your own pace, so there's really no rush. You can freely enjoy the game as much as you want. Did you look at that. Not the best vista here, I would say, but not the worst one either. It's crazy how far along Skyrim came though. Like this game is so much prettier now than it was before. And it's running so much better than before too. Like we have not had a crash yet. We had not have uh, we didn't get anything game breaking so far. Just poor AI, but some stuff is just really hard to change. Like redoing like the entire AI for everything. Like there's some mods that tweak it, but something like as big as a Skyrim game would be difficult to fix like the AI for everything entirely. If we're being honest. No, we're not playing with Frostfall on. We're playing with the default survival mod. Or survival mode. I keep calling it survival mod. It's survival mode. But technically, it is built into the anniversary edition now. So, not sure if you would consider that a mod at this point. I think this Pringin is still here. I don't want it. After all of this, like, I don't want this Pringin. I don't think it's there anymore, but you can never be too careful.
Okay, so next step, we're gonna go back to our home, drop everything. Are you finished ogling the grotesque? I suppose I should be grateful you didn't simply attack me. All right. We're gonna go back to our home and just drop our extra stuff there. Our companion is gonna spawn with us. He's starting to lag behind quite a bit now. We're gonna sell some of this stuff. I don't know what we can sell actually. We have... I have a gold ingot. We can craft like a necklace or something. But I'm not really too sure what I want. Because right now we want to focus on building our character. Because we're not strong enough, so... I mean, your guess is as good as mine for like what we could do to... Get ourselves stronger. To be able to at least beat the Frost Troll. I guess that should be our next focus, beating the frost roll on top of a uh, of a uh, Mount Mount High Rockdar or whatever it's called. So I guess getting a fire weapon could be a good idea. Enchanting, yeah, we could enchant something. Now maybe we could buy like a gem to enchant, but they're super expensive, and right now we only have 500 gold. Maybe we should keep on going with our initial idea to get this transmute book. I think that's what we're going to do next. We're going to go to our home, drop everything there, and then go get that transmute book. To be able to get more money. To perhaps buy like a fire weapon or something like that. Quest for white run simpletons. Yeah, we could do that. Maybe get more quests from people around here to just do a bunch of side quests just to get a reward while gathering better gear or something you there the dawn guard is looking for anyone willing to fight against the growing vampire menace what do you say ah here we go guys we're gonna get attacked by vampires at night now well fuck me Ezron's going to like you. Go talk to him at Fort Dawnguard, southeast of Riften. He'll decide if you're Dawnguard material. And this is my favorite faction in the game. The Dawnguards. Our character already looks like a vampire hunter right now. Look at that. Looks pretty cool. I guess one way we could upgrade our character is perhaps like making better gear of any sort. Like, um, I think we can upgrade our boots. Yep. Yeah. Can upgrade our boots by a little bit. And we might be able to buy better gauntlets or craft better gauntlets. This requires a stealing good. Wow, we can even upgrade our Orchis, uh, Orchis Greatsword. To be stronger too. Okay, so we can actually do a few things already here. I've got your back. Without you traveling to too far. Okay, first of all, let's grab that. Um Wow, we actually have the ore. That's really good. Let's get going then. Got some good hmm, blades, helmets, pretty much anything. Okay, let's sell needs. some of that extra stuff. Okay, there you go. That's better than nothing. Don't forget to check inside the shop if you need anything. But we can already upgrade. Or sword here to do a bit more damage. Every little bit counts. So our sword being a fine sword is going to do a little bit more. 
Uh, next step I would say would be to upgrade our bow. What can we sell right now? I think we can sell some potions though. Look at that. We have way too many potions. Let's go sell some potions first. My f Oh, thank you. Divines bless your kind heart. Let me know if there's anything you like. You look take a look. Okay, she restocked. Um Usually I sell the stamina potion. Resist poison though. Resist poison I tend to want to keep because when we get spiders, it's so dangerous. We're going to craft more potions here. Let's buy every ingredient that she has again. Also, she has tomatoes. Let's actually buy that. We're going to buy every ingredient that's not too expensive and then resell some potions back to her. Okay, that should be enough. Come back anytime if you need a remedy. And then let's get back to crafting. Look at that. This potion is so valuable. This is like I offer remedies for such both common and rare. a money scheme. <laughs> Okay, um, let's try to sneak in one extra ingredient. There you go. Blue mountain flower. What could we mix this with? There you go. Um, roll fat. No. I'm trying different things right now. I don't really know. If there's anything I can help you with, you have but to ask. Um. Tonics, salves, poultices, and potions on my shelves. Browse to your heart. So, on this. Um. I sell cures for all of us, and I'll be happy to serve you. Honestly, I'm just doing it randomly at this point. Okay, that should be it for now, I guess. If there's anything I can help you with. So you're interested in my potions and ingredients? Uh, what's even the use for the pure spectral thing? Is there even a point to that? Sign my merch. <laughs> I don't. I can't. I can't, Mongus. Take a look. Okay. Um. Does he sell anything interesting? First of all, no. What about increases bow damage? It's actually pretty good, but we can't buy that. Uh. What else? Oh, prices are better. Man, we need this. We actually need this. We actually need that, really. Because 
this stops spawning after a certain point. It's just too valuable to pass up on. Um, okay, uh, I'm trying to think here. How do we go about this? Let's sell impulsions first. Um, we need more gold. Let's go sell. Let's go sell because he's not going to have enough gold so, so we can buy it. So we're going to go sell yeah. some stuff to the Enchanter of Thought, like the Court Mage or whatever it's called. So we have a gold ingot. Let's craft a necklace. And... Yeah, let's do that. And then let's go sell that stuff to the guy up there. Watch the skies, traveler. Also, before we go on and to continue our adventure, we're gonna need more vegetable soup for sure. Oh, I, al I almost forgot. We also yes, wanted to I'm cure our disease. Right. That's the main reason we came here. Almost forgot. There you go. All disease cured. I'm the commander of the guard here in White Run. Oh, well, it got us down to 100 gold, but it was kind of necessary, honestly. We're asking Tessu. <laughs> Okay, court wizard, where are you? Come to dragons reached spells and incantations for those with the talent. Okay, I can sell you this, this, this. We actually have some gems that are full. Okay, that's not. You know, if you've got the not bad. You should join the Mages College in Winterhold. What can we enchant then? <laughs> Frost damage, shock damage. It's not really worth it. It's gonna do like one extra damage. What's our gold looking like right now? 1,900. That's not bad. Okay, what do we need for more vegetable soups here? We need more leek and cabbage. I don't think they would keep leak here. There was leak uh, on there, but we already used it. I guess for now that's gonna be that. Okay, we're gonna craft more potion potions to sell to the main shop, and then we're gonna buy that necklace. Could you spare a coin? Oops. I'm the commander of the guard here in White Run. We technically should have um, some leftovers. What are you doing in my home? We should have some leftovers here.
like that. And then let's get rid of... We can sell one bow. Uh, let's get rid of our iron. We've got steel ingots. Let's grab one or two. To see you again, my fame. Marry you up so we can get earnings. Oh, you just reminded me. I think the Mara's quest line is fairly safe. And it's it gives you a bonus to magic resist, I think. Got some good people looking to protect yourself or deal some damage. I think we should be doing Don't that. To check the shop if you need Pretty much get our magic resistance up. So I think we're gonna... Yeah, I think we're gonna do that next, actually. Maybe after... Um, after clearing the bandit camp. Next to this, to get the transmute uh, book. I think after that, we're going to go and do the Mara's quest line to get our magic resist up. You're not supposed to be here. I'm not? What time is it? The hell? Bro, it's like 1 p.m. What are you talking about? Dude, what is wrong with her? <laughs> well, we can't use that al alchemy table. Gotta go back to the other one. My cousin's out fighting dragons, and what do I get? Where does the Mara quest start? It starts in Riften. Is she's on lunch break? <laughs> yeah. I don't think she could hold it uh, any longer, if you know what I mean. Yeah, we need to get to Riften to start the, the Mara's quest line. We're gonna use the carriage. Ain't nobody high and mighty in these halls, except in the yarl. And don't you forget Yeah, it's 2 p.m. It's not 2 a.m. The hell? Come to Sorry, I'll use this, thank you. I mean, we can craft a lot of Magicka Increased Potion. We can craft like 20. That should be enough to buy. There you go. <laughs> that should be enough to buy that necklace. We only need... We only need 200 gold. So I think we're good. We can buy it. You tried mercenary work? It might suit you. And I can't stress enough, it's important to buy it because first of all, it's it's a very rare spawn to get that necklace. You can easily go through your an entire playthrough without getting it. And a bigger problem than that, once it spawns, it actually stops spawning after you get to around level 20. Like you actually cannot uh get Aggling enchantment anymore at all. God damn it, why is the shop closed? No! What is wrong? Why is it closed? I don't want his inventory to refresh, man. Bro. Stop. 
Oh my god, dude. Just break in? Oh, this door is open. What the hell? You're not supposed to be here. God damn it. Why, dude? He's gonna have his inventory reset and we're not going to be able to buy the necklace. This is so sad. This is actually so sad. Oh my god, we're getting robbed, man. This is... <laughs> this is bullshit. Some might call this junk. Me? I don't actually know what we can do right now. You tried to talk to him? Yeah, I did. Let me know if you need anything or take a seat by the fire and I'll send someone over. Oh my god, dude. I cannot believe we got locked out of that. That's crazy. That's so bullshit. Are we hungry? Yeah, we are. Well, we don't really have a choice. Come on, come on. God damn it. Did they close the shop at like 2 p.m. or something? Or 4 p.m.? Evgir Unslad has come at last. The season unending. War without Dude, end. get out of my home. <laughs> okay, what time is it? It's six. Technically, let's sleep one hour. And then let's try to go back to the shop, see if it's open. We have one extra perk point. Um, there's actually nothing that I need to put it in right now, actually. So I think we're just going to wait. We're going to keep it for now. Okay, if this doesn't work, we're going to sleep the full night and just pray that the inventory doesn't reset. Come on, come on. It's over. <laughs> You're not supposed to be here. You're not supposed to be in here. Fuck you. God damn it. This is so bullshit, man. We're actually losing that necklace. This is crazy. Ugh. Well, we can just pray that the inventory doesn't reset and just sleep the full night. Alright, cross fingers. Hopefully it's still there. Okay. Should be open. Bastard. Yay. What are you doing Every there? Oh, a bit of this and a bit of that. Okay. 
Yes, it's still here. Oh my god. Why do I have 1,800 gold though? Do come back. We need we need to uh we need to haggle. Yes. We need to uh where is that guy? We need to give money to to get better price, we need to give money to uh, a beggar of any kind. Either the child or or the beggar to get the price down. Oh, here's the child. Lady, oh thank you, divines, bless your kind heart. Until next time. Okay. Let me know. When I come back, it's gonna be closed again. I know, right? I. Some may call this junk. Me, I call okay. them treasures. It did go down by like a, a hundred. Oh my God! We don't have enough. We don't have enough. How much more do we need? Oh my god, dude. <laughs> oh my god. Remember, I'll give you the best deals I try. Keep in mind the game doesn't stop because we have unpaused menu. So it could actually come up while we do this. I forgot where it was. It's a rebate. Trinkets, odds and ends, that sort of thing. It's just a rebate. There you go. There you go. I'll take that. Thank you. Um. Do come back. Mhm. Mm I assure you, I'm prepared to make any deal. Yeah, me too. All right. We actually did get the. F the necklace it was hard but we finally got it the haggling necklace that we're gonna keep on us at all times and we're just gonna swap to it when we buy anything from now on okay now next step before we go any further i believe we can actually craft better gauntlets we have more steel at home if necessary let's just first of all see what we can craft first of all what is our defense on those defense is 17 so we need to craft something that has 17 defense for gauntlets this has eight that's bad this has 16 We can craft a lot of things. 11. Sixteen. We need seventeen, basically. Sixteen. Those are kind of cool. Sixteen is what we got. Oh, there you go. Seventeen. So we need two leather strip, two steel ingot, and one iron. I think we can we can get that. Or those, but I think those look cooler. Okay, so 
two steel, two steel, one iron, two leather strip. We we have that at home for sure. We actually need three steel and good because we're gonna upgrade them too. Hopefully we have enough. Yeah, we should. We have just barely enough. Six. Six. Um. Wait a second. You still have the, the I've got stuff. Your back. What do you want me to carry? Let's get going then. Okay, that's that. Now, three steel ingots. Oh, I forgot the iron. God damn it. Oh, that's more than three, actually. There you go. I thought it cost more than this. Okay, we should be good. Boom, here you go. This is what we want. And then we upgrade it. So that's a decent increase in defense. We go from... We go from 17 to 19, so... A 2 extra. God, they look good, too. I like these gauntlets. I like this armor. Whole set looks really cool. I've got your back. What do you want me to carry? You're gonna get my old gauntlets. And... Oh, you have these iron spiked ones. They're pretty much just as good. Oops, it's not what I wanted. No, what? Fuck it. Grab that. Okay. Keep going then. Okay. Um, let's drop a few of these things home. A lot of back and forth, but it's necessary. Just making sure we have everything we need. I think we do. I also don't think we need to carry the wood woodcutter axe. We have enough arrows that we won't run out of it. And then after that, maybe sell more potions along the way, but I think we're good actually. Let's go. Well, let's go clear that bandit camp. We got the Khajiit here. Maybe we can sell them our extra potions. The worms. Take a look. What do you have anyway? Oh, actually, I almost forgot. Your road lead you now that we have this, get better prices. 
It is all in this note. Take a look. Absorb Magica is not bad, but I mean, we have no gold right now. We have 21 gold. We can barely pay for like <laughs> the minimum. Uh, it would be nice though to get some boots of increased carrying capacity. And we need to start like getting into like like fighting more bandits to get some better loot. Um. I hope that you will come to do this this we will find again. out just how fast each of us can run. As the same goes, we will not be. Okay, next step is the bandit camp. Now we're committing to it. We get into that bandit camp, we kill the chief, and we get the book. That's the plan. Oh no. You guys hear this? Here we go. Here we fucking go. Well, seems like the dragon's gonna take out the bandits. You know what? I'm gonna lure the dragon here. Hello? Dragon, kill those instead. Kill those guys. I wonder what's more dangerous right now, the dragon or the bandits? Probably the dragon. Definitely the dragon. still have the aggling thing. I forgot. Get more magic resist. No, you don't. That dragon came out of nowhere. I don't think we can reach over there, but... Uh, you know what, teammate? I actually... Uh, where is it? I would not mind if the dragon gets killed by something else. So for now, we're gonna let him fight whatever. He's taking like two damage. It's, pro it's probably like wolves or something.
Let's loot in the meantime. Oh, it, he's actually fighting, I think, the other bandits. I'm chilly. Why? Oh, because it's raining, but still. Trying to find the bodies of the things we killed. We killed something here. Well, teammate is going in. Guess we don't have a choice. We're just gonna let it fight. Let's keep going. Bandit Outlaw. Die! You're dead. Okay, we didn't let him hit us. Okay, get that. Wow, 34. Oh, that's actually bad. Never mind. These mammoth tusks are actually valuable, so I'm right behind you. What do you want me to carry? We're gonna make him carry it. Let's get going then. You know, we get a little ore. It's tedious work, but necessary. Eldering ore's flaws, having mines you can't mine. I like these little care? things, you know? One thing, like, it's unarguable that Elden Ring has better like combat mechanics or better combat gameplay but i feel like skyrim has better like gameplay stuff like things you can do like relate like gameplay related activities like you know the whole like crafting system um can't think of anything right now but like there's so much more you can do in skyrim than you can you that you can't do in elden ring like just having a house like buying a house Customizing a house with the Hardfire DLC. There's just a lot more in there. Okay, um... You know what? I'm actually tempted. I'm tempted to try this. The Undying Ghost. Oh my god, it's a cool ghost too. Mortal. Whoa ho ho, he has an enchanted great sword. Um you know what? I'll pass.
Okay. Jesus. Christ, he hits hard. Oh, we're gonna need to heal up. Jesus Christ. This guy does not fuck around. Ah! No! Oh my god, don't block me! Dude, this is... I don't know how we kill him. Oh, he got back to full HP somehow. I think it's better in third person so we can see the distance. This guy hit hard. Okay. We got his great sort of shock, though. That does a bazillion damage. He also had that. It's a cool armor. Looks kind of ass on us, but. Well. It actually doesn't look too bad like this, but. Go back to this. Well, let's give I've you that. What do you want me to carry? Let's get going then. Oh, we got the poacher's axe. Nice. That, that also has a unique enchantment that we won't ever need, to be quite honest. Superior barbarian. This fermental actually looks nice. Oh, wow. And yeah, it looks kind of cool. Although, if I'm being honest, I think I still prefer our leather hood. Still here. What do you want me to carry? We're going to give uh, give him the good armor that we just got. Lead on. Oh, he's not wearing it. Oh, a flute. Or 25, why not? Okay, this is the fun part. We get to loot everything now. Still here. What do you want me to carry? Oh, I'm using the steel greatsword. Wait. Oh, no, that's him. Never mind. Okay, what can you... You know, the Great Sword of Shock does more right now for us. It it does significantly more, actually. So, we're going to give him this for now. Temporarily, at least. Lead on. And then we're going to keep... This new great sword of shock, which looks absolutely badass. The fur hood has good warmth bonus, that's true. Okay. We're getting some good food in there. We're gonna eat the food that we don't plan on using, like the apples and whatnot. Gonna eat it right away, actually. 
so what we don't plan like the 17 red apples Those Mammut Tusk, they're worth a lot. I'm gonna let him carry it though. I've got your back. What do you want me to carry? They are pretty heavy. Also, the snout is pretty heavy too. But you can make some oh, unique yeah. food, I think, with that. Or some good food at least. There's a lot to uh, to loot in there. You like the Imperial or Stormcloak better? I'm not a big fan of either. I usually never do the uh, the big war quest in, in pretty much most of my playthroughs. Oh, it's scary. I just realized there's the big trap there. You know, uh, if my teammate just decides to step on that trap, it could be, like, so bad. Let's just do that to be safe, right? religiously intolerant or the racist i feel like games go like out of their way to make like every faction like forcefully have like obvious negatives like i remember in in uh, fallout 4 like there's i'm right behind you there's like side quests when you uh when you team up with the brotherhood of steel what do you want me to carry where they pretty much like rob the local settlements of their food or you're asked to rob them of their food like bully them into like sharing supplies or whatever more like stealing supplies to be fair but like that's this that this feels like so out of place because as the brotherhood of steel you could just send troops there you know and just offer protection in exchange for food and and supplies and it would make more sense because that would kind of give like a source of like renewable like food and supplies as opposed to like you go there and you steal food from these poor settlements like once i feel like it makes way more sense even from the brotherhood's perspective so i feel like that was kind of made on purpose to be like this bad faction or this bad side of the faction just because the devs decided that you know they wanted it to be a obvious or whatever touches the beacon. I hate Listen, this voice. <laughs> hear me and obey. A foul darkness has seeped into my temple. A new a hand. A darkness that you will destroy. Return my beacon to Mount Kilcreath. And I will make you the instrument of my cleansing light. All right, let's uh, let's eat flour, guys. We have to do it. <laughs> Eating flour is a a necessary evil at times. Little coin purse, salt pile. How many was that? Felt like that was a lot. I took it too quickly to see. Got your back. What do you want me to carry? Flower challenge? Imagine do a flower challenge in real life, you just eating alcohol. flour. Ugh. Disgusting. That sounds so bad. Okay, um, is there anything here? Yeah, there's more iron, actually. You'll die. <laughs> you died. Just eating flour.
People would do it though? Oh, for sure. No doubt. People are crazy enough for all kinds of things. Dude, there's so many traps in here. Wait, what? The hell? Am I crazy? Um, uh, get that out of here. For some reason the bowl was not not heading it. I don't think there's anything we need outside here. I think we got everything. I believe. Yeah, I think that's it, guys. I think we cleared it. Let's go back home with our... Our newly found spell that we actually need to learn here. Or I forget. Learn Transmute. The most important spell. To become rich and famous in Tamriel. The ice bucket challenge. Man, how long was that ago? I feel like that was a while ago, but still here. I remember. What do you want me to carry? Oh, he's actually full. Dude, we're almost at full capacity actually. We might not be able to carry all of this. Nice. Little gem. The Arlem Shake, dude. Oh my god. <laughs> the Arlem Shake. Dude, we actually are full here. We're gonna need to drop stuff. I've got your back. What do you want me to carry? Um this is 37. I, oh, this is 37, but it's lighter, so he prefers this one. Lead on. Let's drop this. I've got your back. What do you want me to carry? You lead, I'll follow. I think we're gonna be good enough to clear the mine, but we're definitely gonna have to go back after. Not go back to the mine, but go back to our house to drop. All that iron ore. To be honest, I don't even think we can cast the transmute magic. Let's see. Oh no, we can. Never mind. There you go. Silver. Ruby, nice. And this mine is it's it's very valuable. It's probably like the the most valuable area that you can like easily go to early game. We're getting a lot of gems too mining. I'm right back. What do you want me to carry? You lead, I'll follow. Okay. Well, let's get out of here. I think we got everything. Let's get out of here before he gets us killed by a trap. Oh, there's the dragon. Maybe it's gone. I feel like the dragon is gone. Alright, let's go back to White Run.
Yeah, if, if we stayed in the cave... Oh, would you look at that? More iron. He probably would have gotten stomped by the trap he triggered and died. Ooh, dude, we're getting a lot of gems right now mining. The draw distance is wild, it looks great. I agree. Oh, it's a rabbit. Yeah, the draw distance makes such a difference. Like the LOD. The Dindu Lod mod is extremely intensive for the system. But it's definitely worth it. By the way, our FPS got a lot better by simply uh, lowering that value here. The Dessa. So uh, off stream between the two streams we got, I lowered that. And it makes a good difference. Like we're not like getting into the 50s anymore. Like sometimes it dips a little bit, but this is like much better than initially. And I put the upscaler back up, so we're not even at 720p native anymore. I got the upscaler uh, a bit higher, uh, higher quality. So we're, we're not, we don't really have, we still have DLSS, but not much image sacrifice. It's like, I think right now we're playing at like 900 or like 800 something uh, native resolution, upscaled to 1080. Uh, can we not craft? Wait, can we not craft jewelries? Oh, that's right. It, we only got ore, not uh, not ingots. That's why. All right. Well, that was a good quest. Definitely got a lot out of it. I think I think we're just gonna put everything in there even the valuable stones I think we're gonna sell this I've got your back what do you want me to carry so at least now we got a lot of stuff so we're definitely going to be able to craft anything we want when we want to. Um, this is 39. This we're definitely going to sell. Dude, 2,300. I don't know what that staff does. Okay, undead and creatures flee. Which is kind of... I mean, it's useful at times, I guess, but not really. Okay, I guess we can take that away from you. And take this away. We're just gonna leave him the, the Orshish sword. I think that's good enough. Wow, look at that. Even the flute appears on our backpack. This is actually so cool. That's actually so nice. Okay, this we could sell this great sword.
I think we're gonna sell it alongside this. We can put it back in. A steel greatsword unenchanted. I'm gonna keep one because eventually we might be able to enchant something. Actually, is it really worth it? I don't know. Let's keep it anyway. Just in case. Okay, also for the food. Let's put the food here to not mix everything together. Alright, we're gonna put the snout here. You know, it's always useful to have like a mammoth snout next to your bed like that. <laughs> mammoth snout fleshlight. <laughs> Okay, let's keep it serious. What else do we got? Um, the few things we can sell. <clears throat> but we mostly got everything. I've got your back. What do you want me to carry? You lead, I'll follow. Let's go sell uh, some of the extra gear we got. Then we're gonna go to sleep. Ah. Well, it's 9 p.m. Everything's closed. Is this closed? Have you met my father? He's a steward up at Dragon's Re I help my father in more ways than people read. Yeah, it's closed. They're not hostile, though, at least. Okay, well, you know what, guys? I think we're going to end end the stream here. I think that was a good run. We're going to call it here for today. We made a lot of good progress. We got some a transmute spell. spell. We advanced the quest. Uh, we got better gear. So next stream, what we're going to do, the plan is going to be to do Mara's quest line first of all. Uh, to get that 10% extra magic resist right from the get-go. That should be useful. And then we're going to see after that. But that's the plan for next stream. Well, guys... Thanks everyone for coming by the stream again. Really appreciate it. I love these Skyrim uh, streams. They're so chill. You want to play this but no PC so Fallout 4 it is. One thing that's cool though about Fallout 4 is I think Fallout 4, unlike Skyrim, I don't think you need mods to enjoy Fallout 4. Like I, I don't really play Fallout 4 with any other mod than like simple like ENB stuff and like if maybe like a texture mod here and there but even then fallout 4 is i feel like doesn't need to be modded unlike skyrim skyrim really needs a lot of mods for me to enjoy it nowadays but fallout 4 i can play vanilla easy but yeah guys that's going to be it for today thanks everyone for coming by i really appreciate it dude we're building up our character nicely I'm, I'm happy so far about our run. We're doing great. We almost died today like twice. Once by the bandit just earlier that we got this sword from. Because he did so much damage with this lightning shock greatsword. That thing is... That thing was disgusting. Alright, well... I think that's going to be it. Thank you guys so much again. Baby Turtle, take care. Mungus, take care. Brenna, thanks for staying for the whole thing. Chirico, much love, dude. Fighterian, thanks to you, dude, for being here. Steel, much love, bro. Uh, Knight Errant, have a good one. Robert, take care, man. Nice deathless stream, I know, right? <laughs> Michael Bay, see you, dude. Azur, take care, man. All right, guys, we're going to... We're going to raid someone playing some video games. I don't even know who's on right now. Let me check. 
We might raid some Elden Ring players, but if anyone is playing like Fallout or a Bethesda game, we're going to raid them. Okay, so Coop. We got Coop. We got Jaker. We got... Oh, we got Ghost. I haven't raided Ghost in a while. And Claymore. I haven't seen him in a while, too. Let's raid my man Ghost, though. Ghost, old friend from Dark Souls 3. Friend of the channel since forever. So let's raid my buddy Ghost. All right, everyone. Have a good night. Take care and enjoy your evening. All right, see you guys.